Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to make it so your actor can jump through a platform and still land on top. I'm going to go ahead and press preview here and you can see I can go back and forth and when I jump I go through the platform but I fall back down through it because um, I don't have any collide rules set or anything. Um, I'm going to hit back now. The first thing we need to do is create some attributes. Now, for time, I've already created these attributes, but I'm going to run through them. I've created a player's width, and that's an integer attribute. Um, and that's because it's a whole number, there's no decimals. And I've created player's height, and that's also an integer. And I've set it to the player's width and height. I'm going to go to the actor, and I'm going to show you. I go into the, the player, and as you can see, the width is 18, the height is 36. So I'll go back into the attributes and you can see width 18, height 36. So you're going to set these two integer attributes to this, the width and height of your player. And then you're going to create two real attributes. And they're both going to be set to zero and it's going to be players X and players Y. And the reason why they're real attributes is because the result can be with a decimal. So they need to be a real attribute. So the first thing we need to do is track the player's x and y position. So we're going to throw two constrain attributes in the top of our player. And we're going to constrain game players x with self position x. And then we're going to constrain game players y to self position y. So now at all times we can keep track of where the player is. Now we're going to hit back and we're going to go into our cloud platform. Now if I put a collide rule in here you'll see when I hit preview and I jump through the platform it collides with the platform. I can go up and over and it still collides with it but I want to go through the platform. So we're going to put the collide in a rule. So I'm going to select the collide and hit create rule. And we're going to say if attribute, and we're going to say game players x is greater than, and now I'm going to hit the E. And this is going to be a really long expression, but it's going to be self position x minus open bracket, and it's going to be self size and we're going to go with divided by 2 close bracket minus open bracket and we're going to go game players with divided by 2 close bracket and I'm going to post the code um, at gshelper.com so you can have a better look at it and then we're going to hit the plus sign. We're going to create another rule. We're going to say attribute. And we're going to say again, game players X. And this time we're going to go less than. And I'm going to hit the E again. And we're going to do self position X. And this time we're going to go plus open bracket self size width divided by 2 close bracket plus open bracket game players width divided by 2 close bracket and then we're going to hit the plus sign one more time and we're going to say attribute game players y is equal or greater than and we're going to go self position y plus open bracket self size height divided by 2 close bracket plus open bracket game player's height divided by 2 close bracket 
And now you'll see when I hit preview, I can jump through but land on top of the platform. And that's all you need to know on how to jump through a platform but still land on top. Uh, head over to gshelper.com and you'll be able to um, take a look at the code, download the sample project, and um, also uh, see other cool videos. I have a lot of templates for sale if anybody's interested in some full games where they can edit and learn a lot of code. There's a lot there too. But um, I'll see you again in the next video.